five most streamed Ice Spice songs of all time. <laughs> What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most wholesome show on the internet. My name is Riley Zeldrin, my grimy co-host, Graydon. Not grimy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a normal guy. <laughs> and we are once again lucky enough to be joined by our friend, Quadeca. Ah, oh, he's back. back! I'm back! Yeah! And welcome to the ninth episode of... Hive Mind Feud. So you guys know how this one works. The format for the game may seem familiar. DJ Grant is gonna ask us a series of questions, each with five answers in a specific order. We get five points for the top answer, one point for the bottom answer, three strikes were out. Me versus Graydon versus Quadeca versus you. Supreme Joey from Bakersfield, California. Terrible place. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, hivemindtv.com for our merch. We also have merch over on Cope's website. It's linked in description. It's on the screen right now. Also, Quadeca is on tour. First ever tour. The poster's on the screen. Check if he's coming to your city or travel to one of those cities on there to go see him. Or follow the whole tour like the Grateful Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Parking lot party. Also linked in our description is our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us or click the join button here here on YouTube and become a member. Thank you, members. Sweet, shall we get into this? Come on, baby, I am ready to rock. I'm so excited! Grant, what is the first question? The five most streamed J.I.D. songs of all time on Spotify. The five most streamed J.I.D. songs. That sucked the life out of me right there. Who's going first? You go first, and then it will be Graydon, and then it will be me. Grant, will the Imagine Dragon song count? No, he's a feature on that song. Okay. Everybody wants to be my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true about my life as well. Yeah. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Show me surround sound. That is the second highest oh. answer for four points. Boom. I love that song. Yeah. Break a pound down, surround sound, Aretha Franklin sample. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's good. It is good. Show me 151 rum, Grant. That is the highest answer oh. for five points. Oh, fuck, dude. Stay in school. <laughs> Why are you telling him to stay in school? Because he's a dumbass and he didn't know the highest <laughs> point. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought we were the brown hoodie boys. Before we will be this, later. Before this, he said we were brown hoodie boys and we put our hoodies up and kind of like did a little dance together. And now he's like, Switching up on Game on, motherfucker. What? That was a ruse. Riley, your turn. Um, <laughs> you know, Grant, I'm gonna have to go with Brudenham. That is not included. <laughs> Brown Hoodie Boys! Show me uh, off D's. Off these is the third highest Come answer on. for three Come points. Town. <laughs> Just based off naming convention, Grant, show me crack sandwich. That is not included. <laughs> I really wish it was. This is interesting, because I don't know. I feel like we covered most of the big hits. True. I feel like his newest album is the most streamed. So I'm just going to go with a single off of that. I'm going to go with Dance Now. That is not included. Mm, that's what I was going to do. number six. Oh. oh. Close call, Riley. I feel like one of the, these next ones, I'm just going to, you know, because I, I did so well with my earlier guesses. True. One of them is going to be like a sort of chill song that doesn't sound like a hit, but it's going to have a, like a freakish amount of streams. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. You know, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Is that on there? That is not included. That is number seven. Ooh. Oh, okay. God damn. Mm, that was close. God nice. damn. Sure was close there, Ben. God damn. That was really close. Close Thanks. one, Ben. Thanks, um, guys. Maybe with the help of a streaming giant, uh, Just In Time, the Lil Wayne song on there. That is not included. That was number eight, though. Close. Nope. Say close. Close call. Great. Close, close call. Great. Great. Good answer. Yeah. That's what they say in real answer. feud. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it made sense. A good answer. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. He says, like, the dumbest thing of all time on Family Feud. Yeah. Like, couldn't be a worse answer in his whole time. It's like, <laughs> good answer. Good answer. <laughs> I'm just going to finish it out. Keep guessing Forever Story songs and just hope that one hits. I'm going to go with Cody Blue 31. That is not included. Oh, oh Riley man. got skunked. Hey, stinky, stinky. Grant, show me a working out. That is the fifth highest answer for one point. Oh, great God. God. Thank you. So we're just missing number four? And I got to guess, right? I'm going to go with off the zoinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Not included. No. Oh. So you struck out too, right? It's I not just me. Too, yeah. So we're on the you same. Know. My hands are so sweaty. That's all right. I'm like sweating bad. My this. dick is really small, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go with. Uh, ooh, give me a uh, give me never. Never is the fourth highest answer for two points. Two, three, four, and five. You yeah. cleaned up. Well, you got it's the king king spot over here. Well, yeah. you got five points, but that yeah. like, I mean, you got a lot more. Yeah, you didn't clean up. <laughs> I made a bit of a mess. You clean, you clean up nice. <laughs> All right, Grant. What's the second question? The five rappers with the most platinum songs released this decade. Missy Elliott. <laughs> so this decade meaning the last three years? Correct. That ain't a decade. Well, <laughs> it's a new decade started in 2020. And boy, it's been good so far. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Best decade ever! <laughs> Is it my guess first? <laughs> yes. Okay, here I go. Here I go guessing. Who's <laughs> dominated the decade? Oh, man. Who's just been dropping gas all decade? Show me, Drake. That is not included. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> and this is the whole thing where, like, you know, I got skunked before. And now? I got the top answer. Okay. Locked and loaded. Grant, show me Lil Baby. That is the highest answer. That's the highest points. answer. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I saw that on Twitter the other day. And I said the same thing that you guys just said. I cannot believe Lil Baby has that many platinum songs. Some of us have lives to live. Yeah. We don't spend all day singing, oh, does, is, is, is Lil Baby at 30 or 31 hits now? <laughs> <laughs> you scroll through YouTube shorts yes. all day. All you do is watch Rogan. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I hate him or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Rapper with the most platinum songs. Weirdly enough, I'm going to go. Oh, no, that's not a good guess. Ah, go, sh give, give me Eminem. That is not. Fuck. Is I he, just feel like. released songs this decade? Yeah, songs to be murdered too, too. I feel like he's the kind of guy where every song <laughs> goes, goes platinum. You know what I'm saying? Just because he has like a minimum platinum. Sure, thing. yeah. Because of whites. Because the whites. whites. Yeah. The, yeah, the whites, yeah, the exactly. Whites. A lot of whites. People like his music. <laughs> yeah. It's a little weird, isn't it? Man, oh man, it's not Ice Spice. Give me, give her a year though. Oh, give me Twenty One Savage. That is not. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's had a big three years. Oh, I have my answer. Please don't guess it, Riley. Please. It's okay. I'm gonna guess it probably. I think I know. I'm gonna guess NBA. No. I'm gonna guess NBA Young Boy. That is not included. That is number what? seven. Oh, that's number seven. Oh. Nice guess. I guess not. I, that's what I really thought that was going to be number two. I can't believe Drake wasn't, or Drake and NBA Umboy are not on it. You know what? Show me Doja Cat. That is not included. Uh, no, no. Grayden, what do you think? I'm thinking Playboy Cardi. That is not included. I'm we suck, out. dude. What the hell? I mean, if NBA Youngboy's not there, there's no way Cardi is, you know? Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this list. <laughs> this list is confusing, but mm -hmm. I feel like there's no way this artist isn't on it, so I'm going to guess Future. That is not included. That was my wow. next guest if I had four strikes. This is weird. I'm not sure what's going to be here. Who's going platinum? Young Gravy. Uh, young Gravy. <laughs> Gravy's going platinum. You know what? Show me Juice World. That is the second highest answer for four. There we points. go. The posthumous yeah. releases of Juice World have amounted to more platinum songs than Drake since yeah. 2020. That's crazy. Drake has released three albums since 2020? That's wild. Wow. Lil Baby and Juice World are at the top here. Yes. Okay. I gotta follow that logic somehow. Let me think. It's not logic. Don't guess that. <laughs> Show me Gunna. That is not included. He's number eight. Uh it's not gonna be NF. What if it is NF, dude? No. Grant? No. <laughs> it is going to be NF. It's f NF. No, no, no. NF's on the list. I'm guessing NF. That is not included. Oh, I thought, I thought first, I saw a glimmer in his eye. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like. Yeah. I couldn't tell if he was laughing at the prospect yeah. or laughing at the reality that NF was on the list. Yeah. Dude, sometimes these white people, dude. <laughs> you talking about know. Grant or NF? Both. Both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't trust him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? NF, by the way, I love you. Because I said either, I've, I've been feuding with the NF fans. I just, I changed my mind. Oh, nice. That's I good. Just, I just realized change. that he's like probably the best. Seems convenient. NF's fans, hey, if you guys like him, you're going to love me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Grant, what else is on the list? Number five is Pop Smoke. I was going to guess that. Oh. So. Number four is Megan V. Stallion. And Makes number sense. three is Polo G. Oh. oh. We are just like dumb. No, I feel like we had pretty logical guesses. It's yeah. just, that is a surprising list. I feel like Megan is our biggest miss. Yeah. Grant, what's the next question? The five soccer players with the most hat tricks of all time. Oh, this is a softball. And it's I, Riley's I guess first. first. <laughs> this, is, um, this is ridiculous. I know two soccer players' names, and I'm gonna guess one of them first. Go ahead. After that, I'm gonna make some shit up. The best thing you can do is get the top one. I'm gonna go with Messi. That is the third highest answer for three points. Hey, Fine with me. Sports guy. <laughs> I'll take it. A bit of footy with a kiddie <laughs> up ace. Huh? The most hat tricks. Uh, now, this could really embarrass me because, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of players throughout history. I'm going to go with uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, though. That is the second highest answer for okay. four points. We have now run through the two soccer players that I know <laughs> the name of. Who's the Argentinian guy that did coke? <laughs> Maradona. Yeah, Maradona. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a bad guess? That's a good guess. Show me Maradona. That is not included. Ooh. Fucker. Um, <laughs> who? Boy. I'm going to go with the Italians from Kicking and Screaming. <laughs> that is not included. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess by sheer number of the amount of goals he scored, I'll go Pele. That is the highest answer for five right. points. You want to know what's messed up? 
That's what I was gonna guess yeah. because Pele is in that movie. Like uh, they have the Pele ball is like a big thing in that movie. But I yeah. just thought it would be funnier to guess the Italians, yeah. and I could have just gotten five points. Um, Wayne Rooney. <laughs> I it. That's a cool guess, though. I like that you guessed that. That's cool, Thanks. dude. I fuck with you. I've yeah. always fucked with Wayne the long way, dude. For real. I used to call him Wayne the Stain. You didn't call him that. Wayne the Stain Rooney. Yeah, that's what I did when I was watching the TV. There goes the stain. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with David Beckham. It's <laughs> not included. I don't know. Bend it like Beckham, maybe. I don't know. What's going on? Beautiful family. Unbelievable. Those jeans. Who scored a lot of goals? I'm gonna go. Uh, show me Brazilian Ronaldo. That is not included. No. L, 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 L. Brazilian Ronaldo? What's yes, there's Brazilian Ronaldo. He's like the OG. Ronaldinho? No, no, no. Different guy. He's a oh. striker. His name's yeah. Brazilian Ronaldo? Ronaldo Nazario. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. And show me Ronaldinho. That is not included. He, was, he wasn't a scorer, was he? He was just kind of a dribbler. <laughs> he, was, he was a bit of both, but yeah, definitely more of like a like an artiste. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. More of a jersey sales guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people with Ronaldinho jerseys. And I still have one guest left. Correct. Okay. Show me the last soccer player that I know the name of, Freddie Adu. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Adu? Nice. Uh, I don't know why I know his name. Freddie Adu, he has a great lore. It's funny, like the reason that I, that I laughed about you guessing that is because he was supposed to be the next Pele. That was yeah. like his his, like claim to fame when he was like a kid like 15 and then he just immediately flopped <laughs> in his career like he, he's like the most notorious flop yeah that's I'm awesome yeah. yeah see i've never watched a soccer match in my life <laughs> like i've never ever not even really mm -mm. oh you're missing out i'm gonna go with suarez that is the fourth highest answer for two all points. right all right my boy knows funny. <laughs> number four is also shared by robert lewandowski that's a, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I know Holland has a lot of hat tricks, but he's too new. Tom Holland? He is. Yeah, yeah he's pretty good. He's the GOAT. Show me Salah. That is not. Ah, uh, I thought he had a lot, of, a lot of hat tricks. Um, Who scores a fuck ton of goals? I'll go Harry Kane. That is not. Ah, it's a good guess. I like that. Well, who was the fifth? It was Ibrahimovic. Oh, that's oh, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. I almost guessed him as a joke because you guys said his name earlier and I thought it was a funny name. He's the GOAT. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Hand. Yeah. Zlatan. Wow, that's cool. Our first soccer question on Hive Mind. That's monumental. I think we can all stop and applaud ourselves and kind of like <laughs> welcome all of our new European fans to yeah. our little channel here. Yes, thank you. Fancy a point. And uh, Grant's Instagram handle is in the description if you'd like to talk about football with him. <laughs> He's always <laughs> awake. <laughs> he doesn't sleep. Arsenal fan over here having a great year. Let's go, Gunners. Hey, here we go, Gunners. Hey. Grant, let's hear the next one. The five artists who have performed on SNL the most times. Ooh. Oh, yes, Mr. Weaver. Is it my guess first? No, Ben goes first on this one. Whatever. SNL. I know you're. this is your, your uh, wheelhouse right here. You love those guys. I love SNL, but His most frequent musical guest is tough. I don't know. Sh I'm thinking someone that's had a long... Sh show me uh, Elton John. That is not included. <laughs> I just, he's been around a lot. He's always kind of relevant. Yeah. Know. Mega star, though. They you can't, laughed at me. Yeah, because they, can, they can't book Elton John. You think SNL can afford Elton John? Yeah. Can't even <laughs> afford... Good talent. Oh, damn. This year, SNL is good. It's not amazing, but it yeah. is getting a lot better, and there's, like, promise. Like, the young people are good on that show. Show me Kenny Rogers. That is not <sighs> included. Kenny Rogers? You gotta know when to hold him. <laughs> know when to hold him. <laughs> no when. He could just play that song every night, and people would be pretty happy. I'm gonna go with Paul Simon. Like that, that is the second highest answer nice. for four points. Sweet. New York. I just know they do this thing with like the five timers jacket for the hosts. Like yeah. if someone hosts five times, they do that. And Paul Simon often shows up in one of the jackets. And so yeah. I was like, oh, he's dead. he's been on at least five times. Um, I know this person is not going to get invited back. You know, let's say okay. that. Uh, Kanye West. That is the fourth highest answer. All right, for I'm two on the board. Points. All right. That is shared by Eminem and Beck. Wow, Kanye sharing with Beck. That's got to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be contentious. Well, speaking of old Kanye beefs, Grant, show me Taylor Swift. That is not included. Ooh. Fuck. Okay, so Eminem, Kanye, Beck, and Paul Simon walk into a bar. <laughs> 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 oh. Woo! Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna guess Jack White. That is not included. Mm. Mm. Feels like he's always on. You know what? Let's see the strokes. That is not included. Ooh, I thought that I might have a little sneak one because they, yeah. they're know, New, York. New York and yeah. I feel like they've been around. What's this, Graydon? What are you doing? John Mayer. 
That is not included. Oh. Fucker, dude. You did all that, too? Yeah. yeah, that's a bummer. I am really pissing up my own trees. Wait, what? I've never understood that saying. I've never heard that saying. Yeah, I never understood it. I'm really pissing up my own trees? Pissing up both my tree trunks. So are the tree trunks supposed to be the, your legs? No, it just means that if you inevitably, if you piss up a tree, it's going to fall back down on you. A little bit's going to get in your mouth. That's what it means? Yeah, it's like don't be pissing up both trees at once because it's going to fall back down on you and a little bit's going to get in your mouth. When do you, when do, who, who pees up a tree in general? Like, why, Stupid what is people. For? It's like I'm calling myself dumb. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? It's right. like here I go pissing up two tree, both my trees at the same time. Again, you want to tie our hoodie strings together? Let's do it. What? It's pretty <laughs> sweet, honestly. Oh, I don't know how to tie. I yeah, guess. Me neither. Yeah, okay. yeah. Bradley, your guess. Grant, I'm going to go with Coldplay. That is the fifth highest. Nice. I like that. Point. That is shared by Sting and Randy Newman. Oh, I was thinking Randy Newman when you were doing your bit. Short people yeah. have <laughs> no reason. See, that song is funnier than any SNL <laughs> sketch yeah. of the last 10 of years. All and the video of them recording, and they're like, yeah, yeah this is the hit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew Coldplay would be on there. They're just the most SNL musical guest band of yeah. all time. Like, if AI wrote an episode of Saturday Night Live, Coldplay would be the musical guest. Yeah. Number one. I mean, it's not going to be Michael Jackson. Could be King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Could be Macklemore. Could be. I mean, when he had that song White Privilege, that was a he moment. Is. That was like summer 16 for me when Macklemore dropped White Privilege. All summer 16. All my boys were just like, we were like, that's this is the one, bro. Yeah. It's like our aux cord default. Uh, there's like a type. There's like an SNL type. Like a Phoebe Bridgers from the past. That's what I'm trying mm. to think of. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell. You think Joni Mitchell's been on SNL? No. Show me like uh, show me like Alanis Morissette. That is not included. Oh. <laughs> decent decent guess. Oh, I yeah, thought I'm the cool. I'm thinking like archetype. Who's on SNL? What makes sense? Who's been around a long time? I'm gonna guess the Red Hot Chili Peppers. That is not included. So the Chili Peppers is a no go. No Alanis Morissette. This is a curveball guess. Show me Miley Cyrus. That is not included. I like that guess. Mm, it just felt right. I don't know. There's something about Miley Cyrus. Grant, what's the rest of the list? Number three is shared by the Foo Fighters and Tom Petty. Ah. And number one is Senor Dave Grohl. Oh. Whoa, Dave Grohl is number one. And then Foo Fighters are number three. That's wild. So would th is that because like Dave Grohl with Nirvana and then with Foo Fighters, he's just been in the most bands that correct? That's yeah. ridiculous. That's how but they listed it. Yeah. wow, oh. that is interesting. So yeah, it's tough to guess. <laughs> it's yeah. a number fucking one. technicality. Foo Fighters it makes so much sense though. Tom Petty too. R.I.P. Absolutely. Running down a dream. dream. It's never dream. gonna come to me. Number five. The question will be presented by Grant. Thank you, Grant. Let's hear it. <laughs> the five loudest animals in the world. Finally. Jeez. Yeah. Is this mammals? Is this any animal? Any animal. All right, I like that. I got some answers. Wow. This. Hey, you go first on this one. I you get know. Go first on the animal question. Finally. Yeah. Whales. That is the highest yeah. for five points. They be like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. I fell off a boat once near a whale. And it bang. <laughs> it's just nuts. <laughs> so loud. Yeah. Fall in the ocean. He's like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, it's your guess. Doing way too much. Don't uh, say beaver. They don't. They're up. not that. Shut loud. up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't give me any advice. Beaver. I like animals too. Everybody thinks you know so much about animals, and I know nothing. I mean, no. You might like them, but you're not fucking knowledgeable. It's like to a goddamn academic degree, like I am. <laughs> Grant, show me cicadas. That is the fourth highest answer for two points. Yes. The brood. The brood. Oh, you hear it from a mile away. You yeah. know, and it's it's almost summertime every seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Or That's 11. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I think it's like 8 or 10. That's fire. I'm going to follow similar logic to the whale thing, and I'm going to say dolphins. That is not included. I thought they could, like, talk to each other from, like, thousands of miles. Yeah, they don't even shit. really have to make noise to do that, though. It's just high-pitched. It's kind of like, oh. <laughs> yeah. They go, yeah. they go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, they and then they're like, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like because the sound travels so far, like maybe there's like some like underwater technology that they got. You know what I'm saying? Does the noise like have to be made by no? Because cicadas make their noise by like rubbing their legs together or something, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't so, have to be via their mouth. So let's say I give like an elephant a button, right? And the button that makes a, it plays a really loud of sound on a speaker. No. Jesus yeah. Christ, man. No. Technically, <laughs> just based on what he just said. Yeah, no, shut up. No, I'm gonna go with a weird guess here because I know this animal can break the sound barrier. Show me a mantis shrimp. 
That is the second Whoa. answer. Four yeah. points. Yeah. Damn, dude. It's called the Tiger Pistol. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It also, if that thing was human sized, it could put a hole through a building. Yeah. It, like, with its it, punch. Like, yeah, like with punches. Its punch. And we talked about this in one of our videos. And its punch breaks the sound barrier. Yeah, it could punch a wow. truck like a mile or yeah. something. It's something <laughs> stupid. It's like a ridiculous amount. It's the strongest it's, animal in the world. That's awesome. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> it just like flicks the water. It like wow. annihilates anything near it. It's the sonic wave that kills the things around it. It what doesn't even have to fuck? hit it directly. That's like a fish will swim by it and it'll just blast its brain to bits. <laughs> wow. It's Logan awesome. Paul has one as a pet. I'm not joking. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Because it's, it's his favorite animal because it's the punching one and it's loud like him. Grant logistical question. Does my ex-wife count? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. Am I uh, right, Ben? That was good. I don't really say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say my neighbor's dogs. <laughs> Shut those things up. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, rat poison didn't kill them. What am I supposed to use? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I am going to guess an elephant, though. That is not included. That is number seven. Mm. Ah. I wouldn't even think they were that close. Yeah, that. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 It's like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was good. Thanks. Uh, what's an animal? Humans often sneak into these animal lists. Just keep that in consideration. Yeah. And humans are the only people that are tr going to try to be loud. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like, like humans are the only one that's like, listen to the loudest sound, like, yeah. like, and go and like record it. Like the right. humans are very biased. Like there's yeah. no whale that's like, is everyone listening? <laughs> <laughs> then this is the loudest one. You know what I'm saying? And if cicadas can rub their legs together and make a sound, it's like humans can rub two glocks together and yeah. shoot them. <laughs> That'd be loud as shit. That's what I was getting at with the button thing, you know? Yeah. Should, should I be the sacrificial lamb and, no, and no, let no. the human answer fly? I want you to guess what your heart tells you to guess. Um, Wolf. <laughs> That is not. Fuck. <laughs> they howl. Yeah, they you know, howl. And they have a, a recognizable mm. sound. It's very iconic. But not louder than an elephant. Yeah. That's kind of yeah, yeah. 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 Grant, show me a howler monkey. That is the sixth highest answer. Oh, oh. you said it like it was on the list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really that was close. He Ryan Seacrested you. Yeah. He la la landed you. He did, low key. Wow. I'm kind of out of guesses here. I'm going to go screeching eel. <laughs> <laughs> the screeching <laughs> eel. No screeching eel on there. I love the, the movie Princess Bride. That's really yeah. where I got that one from. So I'm gonna go with the piercing American sound of an American eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Our national bird, the American, American eagle. eagle. <laughs> the American eagle. Well, it's not polite to call someone bald. Man, I can't help but think there's still a bird on there, but no one has done the sacrificial human guess. And I don't mean it like killing <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. it like I'm going to kill someone. Especially not Ben. But if we have to, could it be my ex-wife? <laughs> yeah, well, oh my God. Sorry. Jesus. She's not a fucking person. She's a monster. I just don't, I don't have faith that a person is louder than a howler monkey. Those things go... Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah! Like they absolutely belt. <laughs> then again, there are humans such as Adele and famous <laughs> opera singers. Is you know she what like I mean? the loudest person ever? She's loud as fuck. Her voice fills an arena. You ever seen her on tour? They have a microphone and like a system. <laughs> oh, for, what? I, never mind. It doesn't matter. Just guess. <laughs> um, show me Adele. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What's louder than a howler monkey? Oh, maybe a kookaburra? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bird. If it's not on the list, just fucking it's move not, on. What kind of bird is it? It's a loud fucking, like, it's a, it hangs out around creeks and stuff. I don't know. That's it's like not, a water yeah. bird. <laughs> it's the kookaburra. They make songs about it. It's got a beautiful song. The kookaburra sits in the old drum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes. He laugh, kookaburra laugh, kookaburra gay. Your life must be. And yes, it says gay, but not in the <laughs> Dude, that's a song. You're like if a human being was bred to be like the perfect camp counselor. Oh, you thank you, man. Yeah. yeah, I was a camp counselor. I got fired. <laughs> yeah, I Why? Because I, you know, what did you do? I tried to get my kids to kill some other kids. <laughs> we waged war on cabins. Yeah, we, we went too far. Yeah. I had a child army. I was with the, the Joseph Coney of the YMCA. See, so then my point kind of stands. You were the goat. Yeah, that's you know true. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, not every so. camp counselor can say that. You that's know? true. I did get a kid to burn all of his belongings one time. <laughs> <laughs> and his parents were mad at me. They said, what did he do? And I said, it was for, it, he was, he was hyped. <laughs> we were, he was burdened by it. <laughs> I'm going to do the human. I'm going to say humans. That is not included. I figured by yeah. now, but I, whatever. Louder than a cicada. And I know there's a bird on there because he asked yeah. what kind of bird is a kookaburra. Turkeys go gobble gobble. That's not very loud. 
<laughs> although they are birds. <laughs> Turtles, not very noisy critters. Alligators do that weird vibrating thing in the water. That could be like a strange noise. It's like a low hum. They yeah. go, mm -hmm, and it shakes all the water. Camels don't make a lot of noise. They are ugly. Um, <laughs> what's like a bird that has to make a noise? So I feel like it's not a raptor. Oh, I know what it is, dude. <laughs> Shit. Is this funny to you, Grant? Are you getting a kick out of this? Grant, show me a parrot. I'll take parrot. Okay. For one point, it's a kakapo. Oh, yeah, the fucking wee hoo. It's part of the parrot family and they are flightless. They're also very endangered. Oh, so this is very, the, very endangered. This is like a strange little guy. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Cockapus? A cockapus. I can understand why when you guessed Kukubera, he had to, he was like yeah. trying to figure yeah. out what was going on. Does that thing speak loud like a parrot? Like, does it like say words? I'm pretty sure it's just screeches. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Because I was going to say, that would be insane if you walked into your house and it was like, Hello! <laughs> it's like, sorry, that thing's super loud. They're like, no, that's like one of the loudest things on earth, man. You gotta get out of your house. <laughs> it would be had like a deep voice and he was like, Charles has returned from work. <laughs> you know what I'm it's like two in the morning and you're like going to get a snack. You just hear, someone's hungry. <laughs> Show me an elk. That is not included. Elk. Elk have elk, you ever seen an elk loud. sing? Oh, they're loud? Yeah. yeah, they go. They go. It's like a sing. <laughs> it's like insane. It's like that. They open their mouth and you're like, what the fuck did you just do? That was yeah. heavenly what you just did. What do they call it? A bleat or something. Yeah. It's a bleat. Yeah. It is beautiful. Way more beautiful than anything humans have ever made. <laughs> oh, God's creations, how they are majestic. All right, Grant, what was it? Number three is a bulldog bat. A bulldog bat. I was yeah. gonna guess a bat almost as a joke. There's probably a scary cave somewhere where there's some loud ass bats. Oh. I'm just That's picturing scary, yeah. two bats like on chains, like you're holding them like bulldogs and they're like <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but imagine a wide stance on the bulldog bat. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> oh, can, we, can we look at a photo of it real quick? Yeah, I'm picture. sure its face is and just we'll, magnificent. We'll Put it on the screen for you guys too. Oh, he's so Aww. cute! Whoa, oh my god, it really a, does look like a bulldog. Yeah, yes. that's a weird ass. It looks animal. like Willem Dafoe, kind of. That's a glitch. You know what I'm saying? Like certain animals, and you're like, that was a glitch. You know, <laughs> the creator kind of like <laughs> look at its face. Bit. It's so cute. Yeah. Wow. Good question. Too bad there's no question about who smokes the most loud, because that would be my buddy Weston. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, what's that next question? The five artists use the most times as a thumbnail for Hive Mind. Oh! Artists used in Hive Mind thumbnails. So this is just a picture of the artist, not their name or album cover or something. Correct. I go first on this one. It's yeah. the man behind the Photoshop yeah, right exactly. here. He goes, oh, what, what name should I exploit today? <laughs> this is what he does, like how's what he spends half his time doing. Uh, who gets the most clicks? <laughs> um, I actually ran the numbers and it seems that Drake on average is getting five more clicks per episode. Post Malone, not good for thumbnails, the baby. yes. <laughs> I feel like there's three big dogs here. Oh yeah. I feel like they will be one, two, and three. I just have to think here. I am gonna go with Kanye West. That is the third highest answer for three Ooh. points. Okay, all right. That is also shared by Playboy Cardi. Oh, that's Ooh. what I was gonna guess. Me too. Shout out Kanye. Not really. Not <laughs> <laughs> That was, uh, let's see, uh, Hive Mind, I, and I do watch the videos. Yeah, shouldn't feel like you have to say that. <laughs> Dude, low key, low key, like, like here's the here's the craziest technicality guess, is if I put myself, because I'm an artist and I'm tangly on a lot of the Hive Mind thumbnails. Because you're in the videos. I'm in the videos, but I'm an artist. That's, would that count, Grant? No. Okay. <laughs> Grant doesn't believe in your artistry, that's, obviously. I, I, that was what I wanted to know, and yeah. I got my answer, and that's okay, and I respect his opinion. When you're here, you're not an artist. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the <laughs> You're, like, you're a uh, court jester. <laughs> yeah, dude. Show me Travis Scott. That is the fourth highest uh, answer for two points. Uh, I'll take it. It's on the board. That is also shared by Kendrick Lamar and Juice World. Oh, right. wow. How has no one guessed the big dog? Yeah. Go ahead. Show me Drake. That is the highest oh, answer yeah, for five yeah. points. Bang, baby! Let's go! See, Drake has remained the same level of problematic the whole time. Yeah. Like, there's been moments where it's like, we're probably not going to put Kanye on the thumbnail recently. Yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Drake, still fair game. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> Till he fucks your kid. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> it's like nobody's worried about crime till it's in their neighborhood. You know? yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I feel like I have a pretty good hold on who's going to be number two here, and that would be Mr. Tyler, the creator. That is the second highest mm. answer for four points. Boom. Fifth, I'm going to go with kind of, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Jack Harlow. 
That is the fifth highest. There we go. Oh, look at that. I mean, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we knocked that, that board. out. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. And it was just Jack Harlow on his own? No, uh, it was shared with Eminem and Lil Uzi. Ah, oh. Hell yeah. Number six is Trippy Red. Number seven is Snot. And number eight is 21 Savage and Ed Sheeran. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Make that collab happen, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it could be good. Oh, come on. You know, we said that the Lil Yachty Radiohead was going to be terrible. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know, Lil Yachty does his album. You never, you never know. 21 Savage might do his album like 21 Divided or whatever. 21%. Yeah. 21%. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. They are both British. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. They have more in common than I thought. Okay, let's hear the next one. The five saddest albums of all time, according to Consequence of Sound. <sighs> The five oh saddest albums of all time. So this is just one publication's list. <laughs> Their opinions. <laughs> Consequence of Sound? Yeah, it's a, it's a good That's, publication. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Consequence of Sound here is crying. Yeah. <laughs> it's your guess, Ben. Oh, shit. This is like the most abstract question yet. Yeah. What's a sad album? Is it, are they recent? Can, can we get a little hint here? They're like, all timers. They're all timers. Are they niche at all or are they big boys? There is a nice mix. I'm going to go with the niche but correct guess, which would be uh, a crow looked at me. That is the highest answer. There we go. All right. I knew yeah. that was going to be it because I can't even listen to that album. Yeah. Oh, God. Mount Erie, by the way. It's it's by Mount Erie. Yes. And it's about his wife dying of cancer. Yeah. And it's really sad. What the fuck is this? I was looking oh at something God. over there. Oh my God. <laughs> something was funny over there. Right. I would never laugh at <laughs> <laughs> Take it off the screen. Not part of this. There's not even a screen over there. Oh my there. god, it's a dog wearing little pants. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Come on, Ben. Get back over here. I'm not going to laugh at cancer anymore. It's very... <laughs> Incredible album. This guy, he's a terrible person. Uh, <laughs> Phil, you're the goat. We love you. Uh, show me Chet Baker Sings. That is not included. <laughs> is, it is that a sad album? Makes me fucking cry, I guess. <laughs> it's just... It's on heroin. Do you think addiction's sad, or do you think that's a laughing matter, too? I didn't... I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't the one who laughed at anything. I didn't like, laugh at anything, either. It's just like... <laughs> Grant keeps pulling up memes. <laughs> no, he does There's no... <laughs> I'm gonna go with another album that I cannot listen to at all, because it's just too much for me. I'm gonna go with Carrie and Lowell by Sufjan Stevens. That is not included. Oh. That is number six. Oh! oh. Oh, so their unlucky. so their article was more than five. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Cool. Top forty. Top forty. Okay. <laughs> Not the same top forty people are usually shooting for. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I couldn't even make that top forty. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, everywhere at the end of time. The caretaker dementia album. That is not included. I don't know that one. It's like, you know, 25 hours long or something, and it's like the same loop that's played over and over again, but it slowly deteriorates, and it's like to mimic the experience of having dementia, and everybody listens to it and has like a profound, like fucked up experience with it. It's like it's like gone wow. viral many times for like the lore. Wow. And stuff. Yeah. That's interesting. It's funny because now I've been recontextualizing memes where like when the sad Mr. Incredible thing, is, yeah. that's that music. It's like getting more dementia out. So people have like used the format of like this deeply sad album and then, like just put like some fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Right, it's kind right. of, it has like a weird life. It's almost like what ha like ju what just happened. I yeah. I go with him. What? Nothing. We're saying you're incredible. Thank you. Man, uh, A Change Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. That is not included. I don't know if that's an album. <laughs> It's just a sad song. Yeah, yeah, that is a sad song. And a sad end to his life, Sam Cooke. Killed by the government. Yeah. Well, we think. Alleged, confirmed. Alleged. Oh, confirmed. Really. By me. I'm going to go with either or Elliot Smith. That is the fifth highest answer yeah. for one point. Let's go. I knew there had to be an Elliot Smith album on for here. Sure. That album is sad and awesome, and you should listen to it if you haven't heard it. I'll go with the with the posthumous. Really. I'll go with Circles by Mac Miller. That is not included. <laughs> yes, yeah. It would be weird if it was higher than Elliot Smith's record. Though. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah, but I think like you know that's sadder for like you see the potential for more life in yeah. someone's work. Yeah. After they have passed, like nobody heard yeah. that until after he had had passed away. But the content itself. Yeah, totally. It kind of had that combo of both being like. Just just a very sad record on its own and that was new and different and was kind of a window to something new mm -hmm. and then that was it you know what i'm saying like the yeah. context behind it is is pretty sad and it's and it's new too just like, by the list you know what i'm saying that I, I thought they might they might throw it in there like a hopeful posthumous album 
is in a lot of ways sadder than like a sad, just a normal sad album. You know, that's facts, dude. And there's um, a lot of hope on circles. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you can feel that there's like some hope to get better, and then you just don't get to see that happen. That's fucked up. Can we put like uh, I don't know? Can we can we just like put on some Subway Surfers or something over this? Like yeah. this is gonna <laughs> bum your audience out. Bro. Like <laughs> this is not good. You no, know this what I'm is just this is the dynamic now. Yeah. They get to see both. Usually we're just joking around, <laughs> yeah. and then you know we get sad too. This guy made a whole album about it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna guess something where the content isn't even that sad at all, but it's just sad that it happened. Show me Abbey Road. <laughs> I included. This is the last Beatles album. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> that was sad as fuck, man. The Beatles ended. I thought you meant sad that it happened because you didn't like it. Yeah, like, no. like, I was thinking you're going to guess like the big day or something. It was just like a sad moment <laughs> for when everyone. it came out. And it was like, oh, that's too bad. You know? I'm going to guess one that I'm pretty sure will not be on here, but I do think is a very sad album. I'm going to guess Ruminations by Connor Oberst. That is not included. Fair enough. That's one of my favorite albums of all time, though. In the spirit of your guess, because I don't have a good guess, I'm going to guess the last album that I cried to, which would be Songs by Adrian Lanker. That is not included. That Great album, though. Fucking album, that is. Yeah. Grant loves that album. He's a big Adrian head. I'm like the biggest Adrian Lanker fan ever, probably. Damn right, dude. Grant loves Adrian Lanker, and uh, let me tell you from living with him, kind of a big thief himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like when it comes that. to, like, snacks in the cupboard and stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Nothing big. He wasn't Anything's stealing. fair game. He wasn't stealing like my phone or anything, <laughs> but like bag of checks mix, don't leave that in the cupboard. I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right, I have one more guess. I'm gonna just follow the trend of what we were just talking about. I'm gonna go with capacity by Big Thief. That is not included. Okay, interesting. We got one in five. Yes. Is well, David Bowie on there? No. Grant, what rounds out the list? Four is Have a Nice Life's Death Consciousness. Okay. Three is Earl Sweatshirt's Some Rap Songs. And Ooh. two is Joni Mitchell's Blue. Oh, I had a chance. So some rap nice. songs in the top that's a, five. I know it's cool. sad, but like that's that's crazy. That's just a sadder than Carrie and Lowell. It's like kind of a cool take though. Like I yeah. fuck with that that they put that. That's like the most recent album that I've made. Like one of my personal tens. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I, I did a listen to it, and I was like, this is like one of the best albums ever. Like it's fucking crazy. Yeah, you hit me up. Yeah, and you were like, dude, you have to re-listen to some rap songs. Like this album is crazy, and I did yeah. listen to it on a plane, and I, I I was like, wow, this is really good. There are a lot of sad moments very dark yeah but it's not like a tear jerking one but maybe it's sad in other ways you know so after that sad section let's pick up the mood a little bit pick it up you know pick it up like a ska thing yeah pick it up anyway you ever skank nope (laughs) it's awesome no, he, he just sw- did it too big of a swallow. He probably hurt his esophagus. I, could, I know what that, you know? No, seriously, skanking is awesome. You get a hacky sack, you stinky bros, you get out there and just f- skank it out, man. <laughs> no, I do. Trumpets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Streetlight Manifesto. You never, no? Catch 22. You need to grow up. Come on. All right, Grant, what is the next question? <laughs> the five most common words used in the Bible. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. The five most common <laughs> words used in the just Bible? Me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so this is excluding like the and 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 shit like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do they call? What do they call them? Articles. Articles. There's no articles. Okay. I wrote an article about the Bible. Jesus Christ. It was a negative review. (laughs) God's giving male manipulator energy. Regardless of the criticism, though, New York Times bestseller. Yeah. Ain't that just the way? I'm gonna just go with the easy one. Show me God. That is the second highest. Oh, the second. Yeah. That's the second highest. I think Blicky is number one. Uh, I'm going to go with NASCAR, like fast car NASCAR. (laughs) Chrome hearts. Show me chrome hearts, Grant. (laughs) Show me ballin' like curry. (laughs) Show me pull up in the (laughs) 911. Show me, show me, uh, like crack in the eighties. <laughs> this is weird because I don't think Jesus is more than God, but maybe the whole second half is about Jesus. Exactly. But he's not in the first half. They don't talk about him at all. You know what? I'm going to go with water. That is not included. <sighs> I really thought water had a chance. Yeah. yeah. Spent too much time in the desert though. That's like three chapters with no water. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they mention it. They're like another day with no water. <laughs> Fuck, I should have guessed firmament. (laughs) I'm going to guess another. Are there other words for God that are valid? There's Yahweh. I'm going to guess Lord. That is the highest answer for five points. Nice, Ben. Yeah, Lord. Okay. Nice, Ben. She was big back then. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Maybe Royals, Royals. Show me the son of the Lord, Jesus. That is not included. Jesus isn't included in the fucking Bible. That's bullshit. Not in the top five. Bro, you weren't even top five. You weren't top five of your own Bible, bro. (laughs) Um... 
God, this is this is tough. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to talk about this. Um, show me heaven. That is not included. No, I meant like <laughs> show me heaven <laughs> someday. Um, show me holy. That is not included. Ooh, I thought I had to get like yeah. Oh, that actually made me think of one. Grant, show me Arby's. <laughs> that is not included. Ah, damn. I remember like Adam and all them. They like, we used to link up at the Arby's. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Paul's letter to the Arby's. <laughs> and the fact that Arby's has stayed around is a testament to its qualities as a restaurant. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing there. We got the beef. Sorry. Um. Oh, maybe damn it. Kind God of always, damn it. Yeah, God always, damn it. Yeah, yeah. always follows yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm going to go people. That is the fifth highest answer. Nice. nice. Okay, cool. Nice. I was on. just like, oh, like, and then he said unto the people. Like, you know, <laughs> like I was just like, oh, people's gotta be in there a ton. Well, I have a few, I have a few. How many guests do I have left? Looking for three and four, and you have two guests left. I'm gonna go first with father. That is not included. <laughs> um show me big sin. Sin. That is not included. Sinners. <laughs> Sinny. I'm going to go with son. That is not included. That is oh. number seven. Ah, mm. S-O-N. Yep. Uh, I'm debating I'm debating between like bless or blessing day. Like day could be a good one. Uh, sodomy, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with day. I kind of feel like that's an underrated guess. That is not included. Nah. That is number nine. All right, Grant. What else is on this list? Four is Israel. And three is man. Man at number three. Interesting that woman was not on there. <laughs> Let's just say the Bible does not pass the Bechdel test. Is that true? I don't know. It That's probably does. It's a long ass book. It has yeah. to. It has to pass it. But Can we, Let's Google that. The Bechdel test is like two women talking to each other or something. It's two women having a conversation not about a man. Oh. It's basically the idea of like female character development. Yeah. The idea that they're not one dimensional characters who only care about the men in the story who are the main characters. Mm -hmm. The Bible does pass the Bechtel test, and it says, In fact, the only book in the entire Bible that passes the Bechtel test, beyond a reasonable doubt, is the book of Ruth. That's interesting. So every single book in the Bible, there's like hundreds. The book of Ruth is the only one that, without a doubt, passes the Bechtel test. Yeah, without a doubt. That's kind of fucked up, but also it was written in Yeah, zero. I was going to say, how is that surprising <laughs> Yeah, it's 2,000 years ago. Yeah. And you know what, probably not to get too technical here, but the, the implication is probably that God is a man. And so if there, anybody's talking about the Lord or the Father, mm -hmm. and everything is kind of revolving around that in some ways, like... Yeah, that's true. Because what else are they going to talk about? Donkeys? They did a little bit. Sheep? Yeah. Baseball? I don't even know if it existed back then. There's a book of Ruth. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, right. That's true. <laughs> Grant, what's that next one? The five most streamed Ice Spice songs of all time on Spotify. <laughs> There's not that many songs to choose from, but they all are doing well. So yeah. here we go. You first? Yep. I'm going to go with the smash hit, Ice Spice and Pink Pantherist, Boys a Liar Part 2. That is the highest answer for five points. Uh, Grabbing my da-da-da. Yeah. Thinking about shit that I, I shouldn't have. I mean, wow, you know, what a song. That is really genuinely... One of my favorite time. songs in a long time. We got Ice Spice. Mm -hmm. It's an artist. She is. There's kind of an obvious answer. Fine. Munch. That is the second highest right. answer. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Going right down the board here. I feel like I know number three. Yeah, and I feel like I know number four. And I might even know number five. She in her mood. That is the third highest yep. answer for three points. Let's go, girl. Wow. <laughs> Have we ever gone one through five with no breaks? We just did. No, we didn't. Oh, no. Yeah, we went out of order, but we cleaned that one question. The high mind thumbnail one. So we've gone through a question with no wrong guesses, but I'm just wondering if we've ever done it one, two, three, four, five. I don't think so. Oh, shit. This this Now's our chance. This could be <laughs> historical. It's kind of a toss up for me here, but I am going to go with Bikini Bottom. That is the fourth. That's what I was going to guess. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay, there's, there's She and Hamoud. There's Clit Service. <laughs> To be honest, I thought the clit and the service were the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> clit service. Da, 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 da. He serviced my clit because he know what I like. <laughs> Why is she pop smoke? <laughs> that's, that's how she raps. <laughs> yeah, but not that deep. Yeah, you said, well, I, I'm you're a masculine deeper. man, bro. Like, what the fuck else you want me to do? You went deeper than your own voice. Yeah. <laughs> but he just so oh, yeah. let, me, let me try it again. Let me try it again. I'm serving a clit because <laughs> I feel like a server. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> he, he eating it up just like it's a burger. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be the Gangsta Boo one, though. Because that, was that a collab? It's a little TJ. That's the little TJ one. I feel like oh, that was that a hit. That brings men in. <laughs> that brings men into play. <laughs> men, I mean, there's plenty of men out there that will not listen to a song if it's just a woman. That's unfortunately probably true. That's just facts. You put a little TJ on it, there's some gangsters out there that'll be like, that one's kind of fire. <laughs> They'll drop their guard down and be like, damn, man, you know, I wish I had a Gangsta Boo sometimes. <laughs> <you know? laughs> it's low-key a shame how Princess Diana died. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Prince Diana, Diana is the better song, though. I do fuck with that. It one. is. Okay, because I don't want to be at blame for ruining this moment. Which one do you guys think? You think uh, Princess I, Diana or Gangsta Boo? Wow, we all of a sudden started working it as, as a team to this try for to history. Get, yeah, it's for history. history. I personally think Princess Diana is, is more stream. I like That's it what more. I think too. That one's the one in my heart. I'm going to go Princess Diana. That is not incredible. No! <laughs> what was number five? No, right? no, that's not. We oh. still have. None oh, of us have any. Oh, none of us have strikes. None of us have strikes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we just got it. Oh, yeah. We just got that one wrong. Ah, well, didn't do it perfect. So. <laughs> A no hitter ends in the fourth inning. They're like, game over. <laughs> Every video only goes on for as long as it's perfect. You're like, all right, try again tomorrow, guys. <laughs> I'm going to guess Gangsta Boo. That is the fifth highest oh. answer for one point. Wow. Gangsta Boo, you're my Gangsta Boo. <laughs> She in her mood. <laughs> she in her mood. <laughs> Ice Spice featuring Cab Calloway. <laughs> Grabbing my da da da. <laughs> he from the Bronx, so I know that he dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, That's we awesome. ban this. Can we unlist this video? Can we upload it unlisted? <laughs> How can I come if I already came? Like <laughs> Ice Spice has a huge ass. <laughs> That is something I just, before we move on, <laughs> feel like it's only right that we acknowledge oh the enormity God. of that rear. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a national treasure. All right. This comes down to the last question. You've got a hefty lead on us. It seems like you may, you may take this one home. And I'm going first, I think. Yes. All right, Grant. What's the last question? The five most viewed James Corden carpool karaoke video <laughs> of all time. Carpool God. karaoke, Damn where James it. Corden sings along in a car that is made to look like it's driving, but really is being pulled by a camera crew. By another car. And then the other car is being pulled by a bigger car. <laughs> and then that car is being pulled by a bus. I cannot think of a person that I'd want to sing along in a car with less than James Corden. What? I can. I'm telling you, I don't know. He seems just too much. Too that much seems like me. the one setting he'd be fun in. He always like takes the time to learn one of your songs if you're in there. Most of your songs. And then like one shared song that you both kind of like. Bohemian Rhapsody or something. Sure, yeah. You know, whatever. Immortal Technique. Something yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome if he did Immortal Technique. <laughs> like that, then he would instantly become the goat of a late night. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a few things in my mind. I'm kind of just going to guess the one that's on my YouTube algorithm the most. Like that, okay. the thumb, the first thumbnail that came to mind. So I'm I'm going to guess the Migos. That is not included. Oh, right. Uh, right open. That did come to mind for yeah. me. I think yeah. we have the same algorithm. Steven yeah, Crowder, yeah. Rogan, oh, all that shit, No, dude. I didn't. Yeah. I wrapped up before I heard <laughs> what you had on there. Has Taylor Swift been on that, John? I don't know. Grant, for the second time in a game, I'm going to guess Taylor Swift. That is not included. Ooh, <laughs> Riley, it's wide open, dude. The comeback. Okay. I feel like they did it. And that's the thing is I, I realize now how little I know about carpool karaoke. Yeah. I've seen probably three episodes total. Uh, I'm going to go BTS. That is not included. Oh. That is number seven. Fuck. Oh. Show me Ariana Grande. That is not included. Oh, Ooh. wow. Great guess. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. Yeah. All that voice comes out of her. That's just like baffles me. Um, <laughs> Taylor Swift. No. Ariana Grande. <clears throat> BTS. Kind of. Um, <laughs> did Jay Biebs do it? Show me the Bieber. That is the third highest answer for three points. Good job, good job. Okay. Tied with you. Not for long. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. I'm, I'm between two right here. I think there's, there's two that could be up here. I'm going to go with Harry Styles. One Direction, sorry. That is the second oh. highest answer for four. Right, right, right. Oh, okay. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know number one now, I think. Um, Literally so many options. Lady Gaga. That is not included. Fuck. Ow. I'm out, dude. It's up to you, Riley. Wait, wait. Are, can you do it at this point? No, because I got one. I can lose by one? Yeah. I think so. That'd be kind of sick. That'd be cool. I'd be down to lose by one. Who played Elvis? Was that Andrew Garfield? No, Austin Butler. Austin Butler, yeah. I'm going to go with uh, the guy who played Elvis, Austin Butler. That is not included. Did he do it? I don't know. I just feel like he did the Elvis movie. And if he did do it, it'd be him and James Corden singing Elvis tunes. That seems like I would click on that. I forgot know? that celebrities, like, did Obama do one? They just would do Amazing Grace. And yeah. like, <laughs> I'm going to go with the guest that I was thinking of last time. I'm going to go with Billie Eilish. That is not included. Uh, wow. Has Ed Sheeran done it? Show me the Ed, man. That is not included. I'm trying to think of, like, viral moments from it. I feel like there are really popular people who've done it, but then there's people who are, like, known for their episodes episode of it. Eh, show me Adele. That is the highest answer for <laughs> five nice. points. Nice, Riley. <laughs>
<laughs> there we go. I kind of feel like ASAP Rocky is on there because he had, there was a viral moment. Like Rod Stewart came and did every day. That was big. Every day, bro, with the <laughs> yeah. Disney Channel flow. Yeah, Rod Stewart has some bangers. Jake Paul did Carpool Karaoke with 21 Savage. Do you remember that? I do. But they yeah. did their own version of it. They didn't like go on James Corden together. Yeah, they did. They, <laughs> they, they did the indie version. Yeah, Jake Paul picked up 21 Savage <laughs> in the car and they rode around together. And Jake Paul probably paid him like 50 racks. Yeah. For a car ride. It was worth it. Look at Jake Paul now. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for four and five. Rihanna, maybe. Yeah, fuck it. I'll go with Rihanna. That is not included. Okay. I knew it and I snaked him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, what were four and five? Five is Bruno Mars. Yeah. Mm. Four is Sia. Ah, See ya. Wow. That's cool. Wow. For some reason, that's like the most aligned artist with James Corden. Yeah. You know yeah. Like, that makes so much sense. If I had sense. to think of like James Corden core, yeah. it would be Sia. It's like Coldplay is to SNL what yeah, Sia yeah, is yeah. to James Car Corden carpool karaoke. Exactly, yeah. Wow. Great hey, game, Ben. Damn. Ben, you came in here and you beat us. Yeah. Should I do it? Yeah, no, do, yeah do one. You didn't do a bar of the day. You might as well do a victory lap. Hey, good game, by the way. Hey, good game to you too. I thought like the the bits especially very good. Thanks, man. Like very funny. I, stuff. I thought you were pretty funny too. And Thanks, like in man. terms of like run ups. Oh yeah, S spoon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay. <laughs> I did dug a little too many holes. Just get them right yeah. in there. Yeah. And then in there. And then put it back up in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me close the door because I left the door ajar. Yeah. 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 It's a jar. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of like finishing the lap. I get that, I guess. Great game, guys. Hey, good job, Ben. Sorry. It's always a pleasure to have you on. Quadeca's on tour. The poster's on the screen again. Go see Quadeca perform in your city. Tickets are cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going down. <laughs> Everything must go. <laughs> also go stream Quadeca's music on Spotify or wherever you listen to music. Uh, we'd like to thank him again for being here. Oh, Other boy. than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning, and great. Would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? I will never die for my beliefs because I might be wrong. All right, this has been Hive My TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bow, bow. OVO ting. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, I'm not doing grimy anymore. I'm not grimy anymore. You're not grimy. <laughs> <laughs> I love this character. I like don't want it to end. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got a character I changed. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? I got a character I changed. I'm not so crazy anymore. I'm not the grimy guy you guys used to know. I'm sure my voice is still the same, but I've cleaned up my act. Can you take your hands away from your face? That's the moneymaker. I apologize. Good. I think you got like, you're doing like a, a note. I like that. I understand you're self conscious. You're greasy. I'm not being self conscious. I was just fucking. I'm you're expressive. On a plate all day. <laughs> you're not, like, look at if I have to, and I've done this for guests in the past, I've tied their hands back behind the chair, and <laughs> yeah. I've taken everyone else out of the room, and I kind of do like a tickle thing. I rub a feather all over you. And it gets yeah. you horned up. Yeah, it gets yeah. you. Yeah, it gets you all horned up. Mm -hmm. well, luckily, you don't need any feather for that. You know what I'm talking about? Psh, don't keep them under the table. No. What did I just tell Sorry. you? See, that's ridiculous. Yes. How do you? No, I already forget that. Ah, yeah. See what I mean? Oh, it's, it's, God. God. it's like learn a lesson for once. Oh my Ridiculous. god. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, dude. let's get this started. Shut the fuck up. You <laughs> never fucked Wayne. I never fucked Drake. On my life, man. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Best channel on YouTube. You already you know what the. I'm not allowed to swear because the intro. You already know what the freaking vibes are, guys. <laughs> let's go. Hit that. No, oh, I was gonna swear again, dude. Say I freaking stop. again. Hit that freaking fucking. <laughs> 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 Slap. Comment, <laughs> comment 12 times. Someone who comments 12 times, I'm going to pin one of your comments for only a second. <laughs> You're not going to know. So keep refreshing the page to see if I just pinned your comment. Because you, before you know it, you're not going to be pinned anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what does not pass the back of the test is high mind. <laughs> There's uh, never been two women here. I was going to say, you two bitches be talking about all sorts of crazy shit. <laughs> Can we keep that in? Yeah. Fuck it. Women hate me already. Men adore me. Women hate me. <laughs> God fears me. <laughs>